Good morning, Philippines. Ah, uh, nothing like a coffee out here in the garden. Um, today I want to talk to men and ladies, I guess, about what turns a man on may not be here in the Philippines. If you're a boob man, forget about it. Go to Norway, go to Sweden, go to the States, or stay in the States. A bunch of boobs there anyway. The Philippine woman has the smallest breasts on the planet, right up there with Malaysia and Vietnam, much of Southeast Asia. So you don't come here because you're chasing after a boob. You come here for the brains and the mentality, the, the culture that they've got. Now, if you happen to be a larger breasted woman coming to the Philippines, I would suggest you bring your brassiers with you because you're not likely to find them here in the Philippines. Um, the typical bra size for a Filipina is double A. So, which also brings out another point um, of the guys who are attracted to short, uh, breastless women. Um, with childlike features. Is that because they're triggered by something else? Um, of course, you might. my wife doesn't have that problem, personal comments aside, but I see some guys out there who, in my view, does I don't care whether they're 30 or 40 year old uh, wives, but they look like children. Now, in terms of my travels, if you're looking to find a beautiful Filipina, She's likely to be, if she's a contest winner, like Miss Universe or something like that, then most likely she's a mis, uh, mismatch of genetics in that she's probably had a foreign father and a Filipino mother, which has given her a more curvaceous uh, physique. But within the Philippines themselves, I think your best bet is probably Samar and Leite. I found them to be... Uh, more voluptuous than some of the other areas of the islands. Certainly that's where Imelda Marcos came from and she was the beauty queen that married Fernand Marcos, the president of the country. Now, <clears throat> with this video, I'm putting out a, an appeal because there is one little 12-year-old girl in Palawan who is suffering from disfigurement of an overgrowth of her uh, breasts and I'll put in the description the uh, contact information if you would like to contribute so she can have some breast reduction surgery. Um, this this uh, article is a couple years old, but certainly she had to raise up to a million pesos for the surgery to, to uh, alleviate her problem. Um, so that was a couple years ago. She should be about 13 today. And uh, like everything, we try to support the Filipinos uh, any way we can. So... Um, yeah, so if you're, if you're inclined to be a boob man, I wouldn't recommend the Philippines. Uh, certainly there's a lot of Ukrainian women and Russian women who might be on the market these days, seeing as how they might have lost their husbands. And uh, for the rest of us who are searching for someone who is compassionate and uh, a beautiful personality and uh, lovely demeanor, then the Philippines is for you. But yeah, if you tend to be infantile or stuck on that feature, I wouldn't recommend coming here to the Philippines. Um, so, with that, I'll ask you to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Please don't forget to leave your comments in the section below.